So today is like a big day, big deal. Really excited for this event and really excited to document this for you guys. It's gonna be a fun time. This is gonna be a good episode, I can already tell. It's gonna be a good one. opportunity to dress up that much so I'm looking forward to this got the dress pants Real clean. nice little shirt gotta get the watch piece the arm candy on point. Can't forget the dress socks. You boys gotta stop wearing Jordans with the dress clothes like Get you a good pair of dress socks. Don't be wearing white socks. Dress pair, dress socks. Nice, nice pair. Gotta get the dress shoes, man. Like I said, quit wearing Jordans with your dress clothes. No. This is gonna be a good night. Yo, so traffic has been crazy, man. Had to meet somebody and give them some stuff they left in my car, man. And now I'm running like 17 minutes late. It's not the way I wanted to start this, but you just gotta stay positive, man. When bad things go wrong and you can't control them, there's really no point of being stressed because ain't nothing you can do about it, except maybe make it better next time. But it's like, if you can't control it, don't trip over it, man. Too many people stressing over what they can't control. Just tell yourself it's gonna be a good day. Go out there and have a good day, man. This positivity is all, is all on you. It's your mood. How you wanna feel. Don't let somebody else get you in your feelings. Quit being sensitive. You got this, man. Just stay positive. Make moves. Create your own vibes. GPS took me to the wrong place. Not even close, close. Now I'm like seven minutes away, man. I'm trying to listen to my own advice just to take a breather, but it's like, just want to be there already. Chill, relax. I'm trying to think of the good vibes that are to come rather than the bad vibes that are present. Give me five minutes. Alrighty. I think I made it. I think this is it. Now I think I gotta get on the shuttle that's gonna take us somewhere else. So I gotta figure this out. I'm actually gonna go back and put my jacket on. All right. Now we're really about to turn up. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. Couldn't be better. You said couldn't be better? Couldn't be better, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Good, man. I need a stabilizer. Yo, we're gonna start this off early. Oh, wait, with the wait. Homie. You ready? You're not ready? Oh my god, my hair is flat though. Yo, you gotta explain this event. Like, what is, what's going on here? Okay, so this is the. So we are um, on uh, the Homestead and Harvest event. This is the first event. Oh. Alright, we'll do that later. <laughs>
do I say? Cause I'm kind of nervous. Just say like what what it is like. What's, um, what's going on here? Hang on, wait a second. <laughs> I have to get it. I have to get it right. Let hang on. No pressure. Do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him? Hang on. Do you see him? Hang on. Do you see him? Wait. Say who? See who? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Where can we find you? At the Ritz in Naples. In Naples? Yes. The popcorn's got a lime chili, sweet spice with togarashi. Avocado is you know, fatty, creamy, watermelon, melon, and cucumber give you the aromatics and the sweetness. You can just you can just I'll explain just like yeah 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 that and then just kind of like go more in depth about like the event like how maybe you came up with it like sure. what all it means to you. Well, also. we're very excited that Chef Z here at the Ritz Carlton and Grand Lake thought about putting this event on. Um, actually, it's been years in the making, but we finally decided to try it this year. Um, we're very excited with all of the attendance and all the excitement um, that was generated to participate in the event, and we're hoping to make this an annual. Typically, Whisper Creek Farm. Um, is reserved mostly for corporate functions and sometimes receptions for different groups, but it is not often that we get an opportunity to work together for this event. And definitely, you know, something that um, we were very supportive of because we wanted to partner with Creek Farming, give back to the community, local farmers, and bring some awareness to sustainability. That's what we're all about here at Grand Lakes Orlando. So um, we're very excited. We look forward to doing this again. No, no, no. And definitely look out for the news for next year. Well, so how, how long did it take you guys to like plan it out? So we actually took about. Uh, we no, eight, seven, eight months to plan this event. I mean, we started talking about it months ago, um, and over the course of several months, partnering together with you know both vendors. That how, how did you guys pick the vendors? Um, so some of the vendors are actually friends of the chefs. I mean, we have a lot of different um, partners that actually we order um, for our restaurants from, and then we also have chefs that have worked with some of the chefs that participated in the event. So some of it is just you know friends of the chefs, and some of them are partners that um, have actually provided for our restaurants and. and Wait, so what? Why does it take so long? Why, why does it take seven eight months? Is that long or is that like typical? Well, actually, because this is the first time we ever put the event on, um, it was a combination of finding the chefs that were going to participate in the event. Because obviously, we have to reach out, check everybody's schedule, see who's available to actually come and participate in the event. And then, in addition to that, it's a lot of planning leading up to it. Um, we had to look at dates and see when we would be able to do it on the farm. Also, trying to anticipate weather, when are we going to have great weather to make sure people are comfortable out here. I mean. The worst thing to do is be out at a farm and get bitten up by mosquitoes. <laughs> Definitely, we were trying to make sure that we could get good weather, so we decided, you know what, let's do this in the fall. So, I mean, just a lot of collaboration, a lot of talking, trying to figure it out logistically, um, and obviously just reaching out to partners and making sure everybody is available. So, I mean, it takes a lot. I mean, um, and remember, we're running a hotel, so this was like right, just one piece right. of our roles. Um, at the same time that we're planning for this event, we're also um, focused on our day jobs. So, um, everybody that was here is also running their jobs. So, I mean, it was. It was a lot of work, uh, but yeah, I think it's going to take us just as long to put it on next year. Maybe we'll have a lot of templates and best practices to go off of, but it's still going to take some prepping. Yeah. Amazing nice. event. Thank yes. you. Right. Beautiful. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you guys next year. So should we
tell them where to follow you or do you, yeah, you want to be low-key? So for the Ritz-Carlton Orlando, um, we are Ritz-Carlton. Um, actually on Instagram, it's RC. Wait, you're going to have to cut that out. Instagram is actually Ritz-Carlton. We don't have an Instagram handle for Grand Lakes Orlando. So you can follow Ritz-Carlton. The main one. Um, that's the main one for okay. the brand. And then for Grand Lakes Orlando specifically, you can go to Facebook yeah, and it's Ritz you know what? And then on Twitter, we are RC. A lot of Fans are and you can also follow Hybo and Harvest. Hybo and Harvest is actually on Instagram, um, Facebook, and also on Twitter. And it's just Hybo and Harvest. So you're friends with their kids? Killed it. Yeah. If you need anything else, let me know. Social. Oh my gosh, is that Susie? <laughs> Susie, can I get an interview? Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Do oh my gosh, girl, come here. Oh my god, it's Susie the foodie. <laughs> Susie the foodie. Talk to the people. What are you eating, Susie? Talk, talk to the people. How did we grow our accounts like yours? <laughs> Interaction, engagement. With who? Everybody. Oh, that's it. Kill them. <laughs> Love everyone as if it was yourself. Oh. That's gonna be tough for some y'all to do because y'all love y'all self too much. Ass. Everyone's selfish. <laughs> Don't be selfish. This is gonna be one of the latest right, vlog wait, let me, episodes let me you've get ever nip. been on. Let me get a nap. Flip it. Flip it. It's flipped. We're flipped. This is lit. It's this is the realest vlogger in Orlando. Yes. I'm rubbing your head because your wave is really nice right hey, now. Hey, I appreciate you got that cut today. Yes. Dang, it's dark out here. Just Wait. walk on that way and the shuttle's gonna pick you guys up. We all like are buried the same way, so don't act like you're better than anyone else because you're not. We're, on, we're not 100%. all buried the same way. What? We're not all buried the same way. What do you mean? Some people get cremated, some people get put in pyramids. No, I know, but what I'm saying is like, everybody zips their pants the same way, and everyone when they die, People they in die. Saudi Arabia don't wear pants, the women don't. Stop it! I'm trying to prove a point. <laughs> I'm just saying everyone is equal, just as you have like, more money, more followers, more whatever. It doesn't make you better than anyone. It doesn't make you better, because I learn more That's from a real people message. with like a thousand, five hundred followers than people with five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. hundred percent. <laughs> throw her in that bush. <laughs> no, don't throw her in the bush. Oh my god, is it? Is that right? <laughs> hey. Let me see it. <laughs> no, you can see it when it's edited. Get out of here. <laughs>